Hi friends, March 29th, Monday. Good to be with you today. Hope you're really enjoying the beautiful spring that God has blessed us with. I tried to go outside today and do our devotions, but for this Californian, it's still a little cold. Though the sun's out for the most part, the wind is up, and you know, I have thin blood. <laughs> Soon enough though, I hope. Today we're in the, the book of Ezekiel, the prophet, and uh, this, this was my, is my son's, oldest son's name's sake. And Ezekiel is one of those prophets that, that doesn't get the same kind of mention as a Jeremiah or an Isaiah, but you can see in him just a, a rich, mature faith in the Lord and his dependence and obedience to him, dependence upon and obedience to him. Today our promise is found in Ezekiel chapter 36, and hopefully you'll join me in turning there in your Bibles. And I'm going to start at verse 24. For I will take you out of the nations. I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. That's verses 24 through 27 in Ezekiel 36. And there are many promises there. Before we get to those, I want you to consider what it means to be living in two kingdoms, namely the kingdom of the world and in the kingdom of God, both at the same time. And we've talked about this before, haven't we? The, the tension between the two overlapping kingdoms. Think, for instance, of a typical day in the life of your work, your business, your even at home doings and, and goings on. There's no way that we can avoid being in the world. We, we just are. And in fact, uh, Jesus', Jesus prayer in John chapter 17 was that not that God would take us out of the world, Jesus said, but that God would be with us in the world. In fact, we're sent into the world to be light and salt and bring salvation to others, to make disciples, just as Jesus was sent into the world. But living in the world can be tempting. It can be dangerous. We can be tainted by its influences. And that's what's happening here with Israel. Israel has been allowed to be taken captive by the world around them and the nations around them. But God, through Ezekiel, gives them this promise that he's going to bring them back out of the world and he's going to put in them a new heart. I don't know about you, but there are days that I spend in the world and I come home at the end of a long day and I think to myself, ugh, <laughs> I feel like a fish out of water. The world has drained me. I feel that it's tainted me somehow. I pick up its attitudes, those things that are important to it, begin to identify my own successes in light of how the world would measure success, and I'm just heaped on. And I long for, I desire my heart to be changed. Do you ever feel like that? If so, I want to encourage you that God has this promise for you. Listen to it again as I read it to us from Ezekiel 36:24. As Ezekiel preaches and prophesies these words of God to the nation Israel, hear them for yourself. 
God says, for I will take you out of the nations. And maybe we could even replace the word nations there with world. I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Isn't that the kind of new heart we desire at the end of a day in the world? Isn't that really our heart's longing when we get home and we think about the day that we just spent? It is for me in many ways. And I receive this promise as my own that at the end of a day in the world, and still in the kingdom, when I get home, that's my safe place, my sanctuary, the, the place that God restores me and renews me, refreshes me, gives me a new heart. And I envision myself being brought back into that place where God sprinkles me clean. I, I get to wash off the dirtiness, the brokenness of the world around me. And I get to be cleansed from all the impurities, even the idols that I've worshipped during the day. Maybe idols of money, or maybe the idol of things, or maybe the idol of busyness, or maybe the idol of work itself. I don't know. But as I sit there, I think to myself that God is giving me a new heart in that moment. And I enter back again into the fullness of the kingdom with a new spirit and a new heart. And the heart of stone that I built up during the day is removed. And that new heart of flesh is placed. Friends, this is what God promises to us. Yes, we are in the world, but as we go home and are renewed by our family, our spouses, our friends, our church family, when we are renewed by God himself, by the power of the Holy Spirit, this is God's promise to us. This is how we can make it in this world. This is how we can live in the tension between these two kingdoms, the kingdom of the world and the kingdom of God. And frankly, as we heard, there's nothing that we do here. This is all a gift of grace. God gathers us back. God cleanses us, washes us clean. God renews and puts a new heart in us. He removes the old heart of stone. This is all the work of the Lord. He puts his spirit in us so that we can live by his decree, decrees and be careful to keep his laws so that we can be, what that means is that we might be uh, obedient. This is the work of the Lord. Our work is to simply be in a place and open to God's restoration of us after being out in the world. I hope you begin to see that that's a gift that God gives you. And I hope you begin to put yourself in that place to be restored, to receive the new heart of flesh. Let us pray. God, we're grateful for our time together. Pray that you would bless us because of it. Help us to remember that, yeah, we live in the world, but we're not of it. And so when we are tainted, when, when we find ourselves submitting, surrendering to other idols, to putting other gods before you, when we come home in our brokenness and sin, God, restore us, renew us, give us that new heart, cleanse us, remove our heart of stone. We entrust ourselves to you and we trust this promise. Make us anew. Through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Great to be with you, friends, here on a Monday. 
Love you, miss you. This is Holy Week, and so I would encourage you to go to, to depths this week in the rhythm of the life of our liturgical calendar and our liturgical year, and really find uh, the God who sacrificed himself for you this week. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.